Hey everybody, I'm Rocky. And I'm Sarah. And we are Savage Disney Pins. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us today. And if you are a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today we have a very special episode of Savage Collects. Sarah is going to display her 2020 Minnie Mouse main attraction set. <laughs> While she didn't get every piece every month, she got the lion's share of it. And we're going to explore each of those. So sit down, get comfortable. Because here we go. This collection started out in the parks and at the Disney store, and then COVID hit and blah, blah. It was a disaster. Nobody really knew what was going on. They put them online for a while, and then yeah. the bots took over. Um, and then they came up with a plan called Merch Pass. We all love Merch Pass, don't we? So Merch Pass was a essentially like a lottery sign up that you could do um, through Shop Disney. So they would post that Merch Pass was open on a Tuesday. You would log into your Disney account and you would say, I want these you know items and then on the thursday two days later you would either get an email that says you got this said item or you didn't get these items so that was a lot of fun and then was it <laughs> it has been a crazy crazy year but i had i got almost everything that i possibly wanted i got all 12 sets of the pins i got all 12 mugs I got a few pairs of ears, plushes, I got a handful of plushes, and I got one of the lounge fly bags. First off is this book. This book is the book that houses all of the pin sets. It's a fancy binder. It is a really fancy binder, and when you buy this, you actually get a bonus pin. It's a castle, and it says Disney's Minnie Mouse, the main attraction. This was the same kind of book they did in 2018 for the Mickey collection as well. So the Mickey and Minnie binders match, which I really, really like because I was also able to get all of those. The Mickeys also had the commemorative pin in the front. And what I think is really cool about these binders, after you fill up all the pin sections, there are a few pages in the back, hmm, seven or eight pages in the back that have, um, it's like a photo album. I will eventually fill these with photos as well. I was thinking about doing photos from all of the different attractions that are in the book. Month one came out. It actually came out when we were in Disney World, which was really cool. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the collection. It released and I was able to score a few things while we were there in Disney World. It's Space Mountain. Yeah, insta buy. So it got you hooked <laughs> right on the first one. <laughs> I was not able to get everything in the set. So the things that I am still missing from this set that I do want are the Space Mountain Loungefly backpack and the Space Mountain ears. But I was able to get the pins, the plush, and the mug. So each of the pin sets come with three pins. They all have an attraction and then a Minnie Mouse and then the ears. What I think is really, really cool about all of these pins is that the Minnie Mouse looks like the Minnie Mouse. And the ears, I don't have them to show you, look like the ears that you could purchase. And I just think that that was a really, really cool touch. Yeah, it really is. Third item I got from the Space Mountain collection was this mug. Ah, I love it so much. Each mug has this bow on the front and this one happens to have like this glitter sparkle element to it. And it kind of matches the bow that's on the plush too, which is kind of cool. It does, yeah. The bow on the plush is also sparkly. And then on the back, you've got the Space Mountain logo back here. And then <laughs> there's a hidden Mickey on the mug. And we do use our mugs. They are out, we use them. I know a lot of people are like keeping them in the boxes. So me being crazy me, um, I had to get, um, a second Space Mountain mug because inevitably one Space Mountain mug will end up breaking and I will be heartbroken, so I have a backup. On to February, which yes. was Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? Uh, tomato, tomato. I was not thrilled about this set. Um, I thought that they could have done things very differently for this one. I got the pin set just to complete the collection 
um, but out of all 12 of them, it's probably my least favorite. This pin set has skull and crossbones with like a gold tooth um, and a bow on it. And then the Minnie Mouse and the ears. The ears were actually really cool because they, they had this like giant um, like ship <gasps> on them. I, I've not seen anybody wearing them. The ears itself were kind of cool. So I got the pins and I got the mug out of necessity for completing this set. Contrary to Sarah's feelings on the set, this is actually one of my favorite mugs in the series. It's just- The really mug is better than anything else in this, in the February set. It's got the pirate ship right there in the center of the bow with a cool kind of like honeycomb polka dotted feature on the bow and then gold pirate symbols and steering wheels. They're like coins. Yeah. And it's blackish, bluish. It's really cool. I like the mug. It's one of the more masculine mugs. Maybe that's why I like it. A lot of them are pink, which is why they're my go-tos when I'm on work Zoom calls and I'm training people with a pink mug. <laughs> with a big bow on it. With a big bow on it, yeah. <laughs> this was actually the very first plush that I got. I did have the January plush, but I didn't actually get the January plush until like, October when Shop Disney did a restock, a random restock of Shop Disney stuff. And this is... Teacups. The teacups! So we got the plush, we got the pins. Again, we've got the attraction, which is the teacup. Minnie Mouse that matches the plush and then the ears. And these ears were also really cool. They kind of had like a top hat on them. They matched her top hat here. With the teacup on it. With the teacup on it, yeah. The mug is actually one of my favorite mugs in the series. It's got the bow with the teacup on the front to match everything. And then it just has some stripes on the back, but it's probably really hard to see in the camera, but the blue of the handle and the base here have that like iridescent kind of like oil slick look to them, which I just think is really, really pretty. April, Woo! April. What do we get in April? We got my second favorite mug for Zoom calls at work. <laughs> this is a small world. It's cool, it's pastel. It's got a lot of the artwork that's featured on the ride and some similar patterns. But I love the numbers and the clock face in the, in the mug there. It's got a very weird light pink. I would almost call this like Victorian pink because that's what it reminds me of. The front has the bow. They all have a bow. Okay, I'm sorry. Inside the bow are all the numbers that you would see on the front of Small World. And then you've got the little clock face. The clock face face? The clock face face. And the pins, again, you have the clock face face, <laughs> mini, and then the set of ears. So we're in May. And aesthetically, this is my favorite set. So for Tiki Room for May, I got... Uh, the pins, the mug, the ears, which were a gift for um, one of his kids for Hanukkah, and then the plush. So I got four out of the six items. I love the ears, but I also love everything about this particular set. <laughs> the tiki room. They look really good on you. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm pulling them off. Maybe let us know in the comments below if we want to see Rocky with more ears. <laughs> No, one second thought. Last time that happened, I ended up having to buy you a pin. I had to get a bibbity box. Don't say anything about <laughs> ears in the comments below. But let's get to the other stuff. So Minnie, looking awesome. She's got a dark green velvety fur. <laughs> All right, whatever it's called. It's mouse, right? Ma mice have fur. Um, she's got a little burlap hat with the bow with Jose right in the middle and some, some fauna or flora coming off the top. My favorite is her little like... Heels? her little shoes, yeah, from this set. This is probably my go-to mug. I think I use this one more than any of the other ones. So this one, again, has like the glitter feature. Not all of them have glitter. So we haven't had glitter in a, in a couple months now. We've got the glitter bow and then Jose right in the middle. And then I think that the wrap on this one is just, it's so detailed and so pretty. I love it so much. The Tiki Room is so near and dear to my heart. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. Yeah. Maybe because I'm like trained psychologically because if I'm at the Tiki Room, I probably have a Dole Whip. And then the pin set here, we've got Jose, we've got Minnie Mouse uh, looking super fly. And then, I uh, hate that I said that, so we're gonna not say that. And the pin set here, we've got Jose, we've got Minnie Mouse, and I love her like little dance in this one. Yeah, it's pretty fly. Yeah, she's got a good, <laughs> a good stance in this one. And then the, and then the matching ears. 
Next up is June. Best month of the year. It's Father's Day and my birthday. June is crazy. The backpack and the ears sell for a lot of money. So much money. And I don't have either of them. If you haven't figured it out by now, June was Peter Pan. I got the mug and the pin. This is one of the cutest mugs, I think. Uh, you've got the ship on the front. And then on the back, you have the darling children and Peter um, and Tinkerbell flying over London. Yeah, like that it's their silhouettes over London. An iconic mm -hmm. scene, it's really nice. Yeah, and then the pins, again, you've got the emblem, which is the ship. And a lot of people, when this came out, were like, why is it a ship? Well, because this is not having anything to do with Peter Pan. This has to do with the Peter Pan ride. It looks like the ride vehicles. Exactly. So I love that, actually. And then Minnie Mouse in the middle, and then the ears at the end. We are over halfway through. And we're on to Sarah's probably least favorite time of the year to be in any Disney park, because it's July. It's really hot. <laughs> with Sarah's favorite ride. Oh. She dislikes the carousel. I can't stand the carousel. Let's breeze through this one. But Actually, the mug is really pretty and it bums me out so much that I like the mug because I hate carousels. It has some glitter on the edging of the bow. It has the crown on the side there. And then it has pictures of an impaled horse. So for the pins, we've got uh, the carousel horse, Minnie Mouse, and the ears. Imagine. Oh, oh, we have the ears. Oh. <laughs> Let me see those beauties. I forgot. I hate this ride so much. The ears are really cool though. Ah. So these were another gift for Hanukkah for one of his kids um, who does like the carousel. So it was perfect for her. You've got the sequins, kind of like your standard um, ears like these have the sequins on them. Um, you've got the carousel horse and then just some really cool cool like fleur-de-lis designs on the front and the back. Series eight. If you have OCD, skip this one. Ooh. Why? Because they put the ride vehicle over here and the ears over here. Oh. It's the only set that's backwards. Are you the only person to notice that? No, Facebook was in a tizzy. Ooh. When these came out. <laughs> oh, but why are they backwards? I also don't love this series for another reason. Ugh. I love the whole series, like all 12 of them as a whole, but individually, this is definitely not one of my favorites. We are, we're Disneyland people. And the colors of Dumbo in Disneyland are like, pink and purple. They're pastels, yeah. And maybe a little like pastel-y blue. Well, and recently they just refurbed Dumbo in Disneyland and it's brighter now, but it's still like pinks and purples. It matches the fantasy land motif that's right around it. It's like. Right, and they went with the Disney World Dumbo, which is fine. I don't, I, I get that there's two Dumbos. If you've watched our previous videos, you know that we call that Dumbo Dumbo. Dumbo Dumbo. Not Dumbo. <laughs> Correct. And that Dumbo in Disney World has the more like the reds and the blues. Yeah, more big and, top feel. And more of that big top feel, which is very much in the mug as well. It's What's kind of cool is it's got like that Captain Marvel color scheme. So I really like it. Yeah, but this is Dumbo the Flying Elephant on it. I just realized that if you go like this, these are like hidden Mickey's. Oh, look at that. There's little like Mickey's in there in the in the design. She all of a sudden likes it more. I like it this much more. What month are we on? We are in September, which happens to be the wildest merchandise in the wilderness. The wildest month of the year. No, just the wildest merch in the wilderness. Why, why you gotta always be better than me, Sarah? <sighs> Nothing I do is good enough. Anyways, here we have. <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain with a mini. Ah! Okay, so as bummed as I was for Dumbo, I was like the complete opposite for Thunder Mountain. Yee! I loved every part of it. I like that the blue like denim material is the same as like the cast member costumes. Yeah, she's got nice denim 
and then super soft, like light pink fur. Is question about this set particularly. The, the the specific to the Thunder Mountain series? Specific to the Thunder Mountain series. Okay. Is this big Thunder Mountain logo that they have on everything in this set, which is like on the back of her scarf here, is that new for the mini main attraction stuff or is that featured anywhere on the ride in the park? Because I don't think I've ever seen that. I but. think it is. I don't think it's new. We'll look for it next time. If you, ha if you know, let us know where we can find that logo. Or maybe it is new for the series and I don't know. I don't pay attention to things like that in the park, so. Heads. I'm not really sure. So her little scarf, her cute little outfit, and her dress is like got the train track that goes all the way around it. And then she got these little boots on. These boots were made for walking. Mining. The pins. You've got, so see, we look, we flipped back. We're yep. back to normal now. We've got Big Thunder Mountain. The train in front of it. I really love this like blue streak across it, which to me kind of ties in that like denim feel, but mm -hmm. that's the steam coming off the engine. Minnie Mouse and the ears. And actually the ears look just like these ones. Some of them are a little bit different, but these do look identical. Yeah, it's a shame you couldn't get them. And then we've got the mug. And the mug has that same emblem that we don't know where it exists in the park. But, it has but it's super cool and it matches her scarf. And then it also has the train on the back that matches her dress as well. There's also in the paisley on the bow, there's a hidden Mickey. There is, yeah, yeah, right up, right up at the top. And this one's kind of cool because it has, it's not a smooth finish. It has this kind of like variegated, like roughness to it. It's like a rustic. Yeah, yeah, it's meant to look kind of and on Rough the and tough. And on the handles too. And on the handles, that's yeah. That's kind of cool, yeah. Yeah. And last in the Thunder Mountain set, <gasps> I got a lounge fly bag. I love it so much. So it matches the denim look and it has, Rocky, it has ears. That bag's a good listener. <laughs> <laughs> has a matching bow here. And then the train track goes all the way down the side on each side here. The front pocket with the that emblem that we don't know whether it exists or not. And the inside fabric is just the same as this here that matches the bow. And then you've got the back here, which is kind of like the straps and the back are this like faux leather. And they're really, 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 really soft. Series. 10. Second. Welcome, foolish mortals. Do you think it is? <laughs> what does Disney always do in October? Does it shock anybody to know that October was Haunted Mansion? I don't think so. I don't think anybody out there is shocked. I wasn't shocked. Were you shocked? I uh, still am. I'm still shocked. Here we have Madame Leota her, in her crystal ball on top of a polka dotted bow. We've got the wallpaper all around it. And on the front, we have the classic Haunted Mansion logo. And the logo is like- It was shimmering. Yeah, the logo is iridescent again, which is really interesting. And this is like, this teal color, that's like my favorite color of all time. Yeah, it's a really cool. I like the colors mm -hmm. a lot. For this series, I was able to get the pins, the mug, the plush and- <laughs> the ears <laughs> so we can talk about the pins here we go we've got madame leota in her orb Minnie mouse and then the ears and here the ears do very much resemble what the ears look like and you'll see those in just a second it has like a clear glass element in the back here with the veil in the back which creates a transparency it's a really cool effect on the pin my honestly my favorite part about this entire haunted mansion series is the backer card of these pins. I really like Minnie Mouse's expression on the pin itself. She's like, oh, like she's scared. Yeah. Yeah. These ears are weird. <laughs> I kind of want to buy a spool of that ribbon though. Yeah. So these ears come with a veil. And it's transparent, just like the pin. Yeah. And then it has a um, Haunted Mansion, like wallpaper ribbon and then black ribbon on the back sequin ears on the front, Which and then like Madame Leota orb in the middle. I like the stripey sequin pattern in between. There's a subtle change. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. But can we talk about this mini plush real quick? It is like my favorite plush. This has like a cat, the cast member green coat that they wear mm -hmm. in, on the ride. Mm -hmm. Wallpaper dress. You need to make this dress, this outfit for like Dapper Day in the park. Uh, yeah. Cause that would be All amazing. the way down to like the shoes are pretty yeah, fantastic. You got like those 1920s shoes. And I like that she's, I mean, I do like this color a lot. So I do love that she's like this color tone in her like fur. And her hat is super cute. Yeah, I mean, the plush is definitely the redeeming part of this set for me. She's got a nice like little veil on like she's in mourning. <laughs> November! Which, We're almost done with the year! This is my favorite set. So <laughs> <laughs> we did not think that we were gonna like these when the initial like artwork came out. They looked very like stark white and bright, like can red and white candy cane color. And it just like wasn't working in my head. I hated it. Um, I am so glad i'm so happy that i was able to get the mug the plush and the pins all on merch pass which was amazing november is jungle cruise sorry we hadn't actually said that yet and look at her shoes look at these matches her little headband on her safari hat which got a little elephant she has a safari hat on and God. Like, so in the pictures, in the pictures, her dress was like red and white candy cane, like red and white. And this is like a yellowy, like off white and like not a true red. And it is so much better than. Yeah, it's like a muted red with uh, like a cream color. And also on the pictures, it was really hard to tell that she was green. She mm -hmm. looked more black in the pictures. But she is green like and off-white. Yeah, she's like a forest green. I love, I love this one a lot. And then we were able to get the mug, and the mug is really pretty too. My favorite mug to drink out of. Yeah. It's got the same bow that Minnie is wearing. So it's got the elephant with the plants behind it. And then you have the elephants with the flora and fauna behind her and the Jungle Cruise logo. Such a cool mug. And then it also has, it has that same kind of like rough um, bottom that the Thunder Mountain one did too. Yeah, so it looks like pottery. So mm -hmm. And then the pins, oh my gosh, these pins are so, so good. I thought they were gonna do a, like a boat for this one, but they didn't. They went with like a logo and an elephant, which is fine because it kind of matches Minnie's like Congo gear <laughs> that she's wearing. And then you've got the Minnie and then the ears here. Do you know what's the coolest thing about this pin set? What? Out of all the pins we've talked about so far, this by far is the most recent. <clears throat> we made it! Ah, we made it to December, y'all! Yes! Okay, December was castle slash firework. Interesting concept executed I think very well. I do really like this one. You've got the big castle in the front. You've got fireworks on her ears. Her cute little like meshy dress has fireworks all over it, including right on her bum is the Mickey firework. <laughs> there is a there is a Mickey firework right on the front as well. And the castle right on her dress. What does she have? Oh, she got a little blush on her cheeks. What's cool about this one is it's, is it the only one where she's her normal colors, like black and white, and then, you know, barring the, the decorations. Yeah, they're all different colors except for this one here. But it's fitting that she's black and white for this one because it's like fireworks are meant to be at night. So there's the plush, we've got pins, and we've got a mug. Na 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 na. The pins, you've got the castle. With fireworks display in the background. With fireworks in the background, Minnie Mouse and the ears and the mug. Once again, we have a full glitter bow with the castle right in the middle. Fireworks on the back with the Mickey firework in the middle. So the fireworks are what? Okay, gold, silver, pink, and blue. And the gold and the silver ones are gold and silver. So yeah. they have that like kind of shimmer to them. They're like a foil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's a cool set, but probably my least favorite out of all of them, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, it just doesn't just doesn't push my buttons. That's the whole year. That's the entire Minnie Mouse main attraction set that Sarah 
struggled so hard to collect. I know there's a lot of you out there that feel my pain. I know there are. But now we're on the other side of it. This year we features are. Stitch with a bunch of different stuff on him. Yeah, not my cup of tea. So the merch pass is here to stay. So get used it's to it. It's here for a while at least, yeah. Let's recap. January was Space Mountain. February, Pirates of the Caribbean. March was... Teacups. April. Small World. May was Tiki Room. June was Peter Pan. July. Was the Carousel, your favorite of all. <laughs> and then we had Dumbo in uh, August. Mm -hmm. September was Thunder Mountain. October, Haunted Mansion. Oh man, your page was so much better than my page. <laughs> November was Jungle Cruise. And December was Castle slash Fireworks. <laughs> That's like what it, I don't know how to like, what well, to call it. That's like what it was promoted well, as. Well, it, it's cool because it caps off. You've you've gone through and you've done all the rides in the park. Now you're ending the night with the fireworks it's show. It's your entire day. Yeah, it in, ends the whole collection. It puts a bow on it. Exactly. And ears. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your favorite? My favorite, Jungle Cruise. Like hands down, Jungle Cruise. Yeah, I just. I, I cannot believe how much we like that set. Jungle Cruise, close second, very close second Tiki Room for me. So I'm gonna go against what everyone probably thinks I'm gonna say. So she's not gonna say Space Mountain. I think the Tiki Room is my favorite set. I think that's probably my favorite series, followed by Space Mountain and then Jungle Cruise. Those are those are probably my top three right there. And Thunder Mountain is, is God, Thunder Mountain, those four, those four were all really, really solid picks for me. Pick two more, get half the set. <laughs> We want to know what your favorite series was. Let us know in the comments and tell us why you like them. I also want to know if you attempted anything from this series. Were you able to get the lounge fly bags? Were you able to get all the ears? What did you collect? Sarah just wants folks to commiserate with the process because it was not a smooth execution. <laughs> there, there needs to be like a group. <laughs> to start a group. A PTSD MMMA group. Yep. Well, on that note, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button down below. For more content, click subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications when we come out with new content. And until next time, stay savage. Bye. Bye. <laughs> like Facebook stole your broccoli recipe. <laughs> She stole my broccoli <laughs> casserole recipe eight years ago and claimed it was hers. <laughs>